In this video, we are going to take a look at dependent assertions of JUnit 5. Now, you have a lot of capabilities that you can work with with Java Lambdas. And let's take a look at a scenario here. So this time we're going to look at owner. An owner extends person. So an owner has a set of properties and a person has a set of properties. So what if we want to take a test that's going to assert properties for the two, two different objects? And that's just to illustrate how we, we would do this. What we could do is write something like assert all, and we'll call this uh, properties test. And here I'm going to do a nested assert all. I'm going to call this person properties. And what I want you to envision is that I want to do a couple different tests here. So I can come in here again and do another assert all. We'll call this owner. So what we're trying to set up here is we will do one set of assertions on a person and we'll get a set of assertions there and then a second set of assertions on owner properties. So let me clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna pause the video while I type this out. This is gonna take a minute and I won't waste your time. Okay, I jumped ahead a little bit. Wanted to save you uh, watching me type code out. And now I've set the things up a little bit better here. And what we can see is I'm saying assert all properties test. And now I have uh, two dependent tests and because I have insert all, if one of these fails, these will run, or they'll all actually run, dependent on the failures. Let's go ahead and prove that it runs now. And this allows you to do a test. And let's see here. We got, oh, and that was my mistake. We got last name. Let's make sure that's running right. So we can see it, it, when we get get the ugliness there, it's a little hard to read in the output. So we see person properties and then let's fail the city also. But now you can see in the test output, we're getting person properties, there's one failure, owner properties, there's one failure. And we can expand this out, say, Let's run this one more time and get better test output. So now we, we can see in my properties test, which is coming from right here, that list there, my person properties, which is coming from there, first name did not match. And that's coming from there. So when you get complex objects and you're doing a lot of assertions against it, you can see how you can nest these statements in together and do multiple assert alls. And I could go down multiple levels here. Uh, I've only gone down two, but I could go down three or four or five if I needed to and really do do some interesting stuff with this. So real interesting feature of JUnit 5 here. I, I really like it. I'm going to clean this up and get it back to green before we go in. So you're not used to uh, Java Lambdas. And this could be a little bit confusing, the syntax. But once you get more accustomed with Java Lambdas, this uh, becomes really effective to use. So having this capability inside of JUnit 5 is a, a really, really, uh, really nice to have as far as uh, your tests. You can write some really clean tests and very assertive tests and very powerful tests. And as you saw, as I add in uh, messages and more information, when something does go wrong, let's make a, a failure here again in the city. You can see we get some really nice test output that we can really narrow in on exactly what went wrong. Now, I've done some pretty complex tests, and when, when you're doing a lot of assertions like this, you'll get two values that didn't match, and it does take some time to figure it out. This way, you can really narrow in on exactly what went wrong in your test.